Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're doing a follow-up on our 4 gig graphics cards mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with upcoming videos. We are trying to hit that 1000 sub milestone. That would be greatly appreciated. Getting into our stats, you'll notice that our stats are slightly different to what we had on our first video. We are currently mining at 61.5 megahash per second instead of 50. Let's get into what has changed over the last few days and how we got to 61.5 megahash. Our potential earnings for the month would be $76 and we would garner about 5.2 Ethereum Classic in one month. We have been receiving a payout almost every single day for the last 12 days which has been really good ranging between 10 to 15 percent of Ethereum Classic. Mining server has been running very stable at 61.5 megahash per second. There was a few days that we had some downtime and that was because in South Africa we have something called load shedding which is quite frustrating but there is nothing we can currently do about that. In our previous video, our hash rate was at about 50 mega hash for the two cards. We were running on Windows 10 using Phoenix Miner. I then decided to BIOS mod both RX 480 and RX 570 and received a code 43 on both cards. If you receive a code 43, you are unable to mine with the card, but I remember doing this on the RX 570 and moving them over to SMIS and we had good hash rates on the RX 570. So we put SMIS on a flash drive, plugged both graphics cards into a socket 775 motherboard with 4 gigs of RAM and a core 2 DO. The board that we're currently using is a Gigabyte G41 motherboard and it has been running pretty stable on SMIS. Linux is not very resource intense so it's good to run on those boards. We applied some overclocking and undervolting settings to our graphics card so both cards has a core frequency of 1150 a memory frequency of 2000 and we undervolted both cards to 850 and the results were pretty good we currently deal mining ethereum classic and zilliqa at 61.5 megahash per second let's get into the profits and breakdown of what we actually earned over the last 12 days in our previous video, Ethereum Classic was trading at $7.70. Ethereum Classic is trading now at $11, which is almost $4 above what we started, which is good for the specific coin that we are mining. We mined 1.22 Ethereum Classic over the last 12 days to the value of $14.30. At our current trading price. Just to show you in a graph, our graphics card is generating about $1 per day, which is not the most profitable algorithm for these graphics cards. Everyone is concentrating so hard on mining Ethereum that the difficulty of Ethereum Classic has decreased which is good for the people mining Ethereum Classic. With our current setup, our potential earnings would be about 5.2 Ethereum Classic coins for the month at the value of about $76. We haven't received a payout for Zilliqa as yet, but we have reached the minimum payout, which is 30 coins. So hopefully that will be paid out soon. 
looking at SMOS and the stats we have for this specific server, it has been running very stable at 61.5 megahash and a total wattage of 278 watts. If we look at the overclock settings for both cards, our core clock is at 1150. Our memory frequency is at 2000. Our core undervolt is at 850. I never switched on the aggressive undervolt because the card becomes very unstable. Just a reminder that both wallets that we are using is linked to Exodus. So the coins that we are mining is saved in one place. That brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys found this informative and insightful. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our coming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.